government spokesman Vasilis Balmaz reiterated the government's readiness to appeal to the International Court at The Hague so that it can offer an opinion on the real facts in Cyprus following the Turkish invasion of 1974. Mr. Balmaz said that if the Turkish government really believes that the occupation army has a right to be in Cyprus based on international treaties, then it will have no problem accepting the invitation to settle the difference in the International Court. Legal leader Marius Garoyan said that the government has the right strategy on the issue, noting it has used every possible international forum to put forward such issues. Ebek leader Yanagis Omiru said that Turkey's angry reaction over President Babadoglu's statement that the Turkish occupation army is the only enemy in Cyprus is the epitome of insolence and has the impertinence of a thousand monkeys. The next move by the Turkish generals, he added, will be to ask us to throw flowers to the occupation army. A girl general secretary and candidate for the presidency, Dimitris Christofias, today met with representatives of the Occupy Communities Union. They said that the most important problems facing refugees today were loss of income and solvency. Mr. Christofia said that beyond these major issues, there are other smaller scale problems that should have been solved by now.